reasons that I do not advocate for uh, cherry fermentations or extended cherry fermentations, um, potentially carbonic maceration uh, lot processing is because, not because it doesn't produce really great flavors, because we know that it can, like I've tried some really great ones, but it's because it's really difficult to replicate. And one of the reasons is, I'm going to show you this coffee that's undergone I think, three or four days of being sealed in a bag, so carbonic maceration. And if you look, there are some that you can see a lot of variation in the color. These two, this one has all of its mucilage and it's pink, and this one is completely, um, the mucilage has been uh, completely consumed by the through the fermentation and it's just the the hard parchment what that creates is that within this lot which was picked on the same day processed exactly the same day like these two coffee um, seeds have been next to each other the entire time for four days and yet within like their micro environment they've experienced very different things and so this one has been let's say fully fermented whereas all of the mucilage is gone and it's had an opportunity to penetrate the parchment and change the flavor. This one hasn't. It almost looks like the, um, the mucilage hasn't been touched and the, um, you could almost say that there's no or very little fermentation happening there. So even though these two are in the exact same tank and right next to each other, they're experiencing very different um, environments, very different fermentations, very different rates of fermentation. And so what you're doing is you're creating variability within this lot. And something that we want in coffee is uniformity so that it's easier to roast, so that you have uh, consistency from cup to cup. And with this method, what you're creating is variability, which again, is not necessarily a bad thing. It's only something that makes it really difficult to replicate. And so what you have here is also two different seeds that have different moisture content because this one has had a lot more, um, a lot less protection, right? Now, now it only has, it has fewer layers. So it has less protection. This one is at a different moisture content than this one that has a lot more protection. And that also means that as the coffee dries over the next few days, it's gonna dry at different rates. So now you have uneven fermentation rates, which you can visually see, and then you also have uneven drying rates, which will give you, again, different readings and could be a more difficult coffee to roast.